And welcome back. I don't know if you heard the, the comment from my guest, but finally, guys, I've been looking forward to this moment. I've been annoying this gentleman here next to me with text message, phone call. I really want him on the show because I could do this promo without this gentleman here, but it's no, it's n it will not be the same. So let me introduce you first, our special guest of the day, Lustica. What an honor have you here. A round of applause, Vito, come on. I'll pay you for applauding my guests. Other way, I get here. I got a couple of friends from Italy. They send us a couple of videos. Maybe we'll let them introduce Beautiful. the reason why you're here, and then I'll let you talk. Fantastic. Ciao, amici e tifosi in Australia. Sono Franco Baresi, vicepresidente onorario del Milan. Siamo entusiasti di venire in Australia. Saremo a Perth il 31 maggio e non vediamo l'ora di incontrarvi e vedervi tutti. Mamma mia, mamma mia, mamma mia. Il capitano dei capitani. We could say that. If I have to do a 22 squad of the players that I would like to have, the best one, in my opinion, Baresi will definitely be one of the 22. But we got one more friend, one more friend, old, old, old Lou. Ciao Australia, it's Daniele De Rossi from AS Roma. We are so excited to be coming to Australia. We will be in Perth May 31st and we can't wait to see you all at Optus Stadium. Ciao, ciao. Ciao. Okay, now that you know, guys, Lou is here to talk to us about this beautiful event. For people that don't know Lou, Lou is involved in a lot of events, sports events. And if sometime we manage to see Juventus here, or if we manage to see a football player here, 99% of the time is thanks to Lou. Because he's the one that uh, always tried to link Italy with Australia. So first of all, thank you very much, Lou. Thank you, thank you very much, uh, very generous. Um, yes, so we're very proud to have uh, AC Milan and AS Roma coming to Perth, Australia, Western Australia, I should say, uh, on the 31st of May, uh, which is three or four days after the Serie A finishes, um, to bring these two clubs, uh, iconic clubs, AC Milan, as a Juventino, I've got to say that AC Milan are probably one of the greatest teams in world football, European football, over the last 30 years, uh, to have won seven Champions League trophies. Oh. I just wish my team had won I wish my team make the final. Yeah. <laughs> so, no, AC Milan are unbelievable. To think that uh, they gave the great Barcelona four goals in one of the finals. Players like Bareze, um, Marcel Desali, Marco van Basten, um, you know, Rude Hullet. My and the list goes Daniela on. Massaro. Sorry, I need mm. to mention this. And the friend. list goes on. The list goes on. The so, who's who of world football, not just Italian Amazing, football. amazing. What a club. Um, I've got three sons, two of them, Barak for AC Milan. Because in that 30 years, they, they won, but they won in a beautiful way. Real football, they attracted a lot of fans. Our other club, AS Roma, any club that comes from the eternal city, the greatest city in the world, Roma, come on. You know, it has to be, uh, it gives me shivers just thinking about it. So AS Roma, not as successful on the park as AC Milan, but, uh, you know, the, the eternal city, um, to have players like Daniele De Rossi, yeah, sorry, Francesco... I forgot to mention the message yeah. was Daniele De Rossi, Capitan Futuro, end up being Francesco coach. Totti. I mean, what a what an amazing club! Everyone, uh, those of us that are Italo Australian, when we go to Italy, we always uh, visit Rome. It's uh, it's just one of the iconic cities of the world, and to have those two clubs representing Milan and Rome, representing Italy uh, here in Australia, uh, something that I'm very very proud of. Rome have been to Australia in 1966. Uh, they were here at uh, the MCG, I think 2015 or 16. So no, Rome have been here on two or three tours. I'll tell you something a little about that in a second, but um, this is the first time though that two Italian clubs have played each other in Australia. And you know what? So it's going to be a UEFA Cup uh, revenge. Yeah, Europa Cup uh, did you, I preview. You, do, you, do that. you did that. I you wish, called I the UEFA. I said, listen, you know, <laughs> happy promoting the game. No. Let's put, you should ask <laughs> UEFA to don't play, to play the game here in Australia. Uh, I think you, so you too. Be I, charged. I, 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 I agree with that. I agree with that. And this is the Roma play on the flight. Look at that. 1966. Coming to Australia. So, Lou, You've been in the, involved in a lot of other events in Australia. A lot of people think it's easy. You pick up the phone, you call Juventus, you call me, you call Roma. But I know that it is a lot of hard work. And I'm telling you why. When the first rumors come out that Roma and Milan are coming to Australia, I was one of the most spectacle. A couple of boys mentioned it, tagged me on Instagram and Facebook. They know that I talk with a lot. And I say, guys, never going to happen. There is Euro in three days after, five days after. The season finished three days before. Not going to happen. 
it's going to be one of those fake news. And then, bang, one morning I got up and I started getting messages from everybody. And then Daniele Massaro from my similar messaged me. And that's when I said, hold on. If Daniele Massaro messaged me, then it's happening. So well done, Lou, because I did not believe it. And I don't know how did you pull out that out of your head. So if you want to tell us some secret behind the scenes, something that you can share, I don't want you to jeopardize any good no, no, friendship no, it's or a, relationship. It's actually a fantastic story. So, so uh, to bring any game to Australia today, unless you have the governments of that particular state involved, uh, it's not economically feasible. In other words, to bring a team from Europe, play a game, 30,000, 50,000, even 100,000, you will, you will not cover the costs on ticket sales. So, uh, and the reasons are the costs are enormous. These clubs don't come here on For economy that. flights. They don't come even on commercial flights anymore. AS Roma and AC Milan have individual charter flights. And there are many reasons why they do that. They've just finished playing Serie A. Now, this is very critical, what I'm going to tell you. The reason the game is on Friday the 31st is, is that the, t the players that are part of the Euro teams that are going to the Euros have to go into camp on the 2nd of June. So that's why Friday the 31st, they play. The next morning they fly uh, to Italy. They get back in time for them to then join their respective countries in their national team camps. So that's the reason why it's Friday the 31st. Wow. Okay? And that's also the reason why we expect the teams to come out with as full a squad as possible. Okay. Now, the story behind it. Um, in Western Australia, fantastic state, fantastic city, uh, Perth. They have a deputy premier that is like myself, Italo-Australian. Uh -huh. Her name is Rita Safiotti. She is the Minister for Tourism. Uh, she's the deputy premier of the state and about eight or nine months ago, she came out publicly and said, we've brought a lot of English teams to, um, uh, to that magnificent Optus Stadium, but now I would like to bring two Italian clubs. So in discussions with the West Australian government and through their tourist arm called Tourism WA, we set about identifying six or seven clubs. So um, I've been to Italy a couple of times in the last 12 months, talking to a number of clubs, and it's not easy. It's not like, hey, you yeah, want to come not, to Australia. You, know, you have to. Game yeah, yeah, it's, it's very, very complicated. So we were talking to six or seven clubs in total, I think. And then one by one, they drop off. And the ones that we really wanted to sort of started to rise to the top. The reason we didn't go to Inter Milan, the reason we didn't go to AC Milan at the start is because they were in Champions League. And as you know, Champions League is played, the final is played after Serie A finishes. So the weekend that we want to have the game here in Champions Australia would be Champions League final. What happened is, as one team pulled back that I thought was going to come, AC Milan was eliminated from the Champions League. So I contacted the people that I know at AC Milan. And within a week, we had them contracted, which was amazing. That's great. But, but for the record, um, the Deputy Premier, Rita Safiotti, along with her colleague, the Premier of Western Australia, are so behind this game. Thank you very Spiritually much. Spiritually and economically. Mr. They've been yeah, Premier then. Yeah. Thank you very much. They've been f uh, fundamentally important. In fact, Rita Safiotti is coming to Melbourne for the Grand Prix weekend. And on Friday, she's going to be going up and down Ligon Street, uh, walking into a number of the cafes and restaurants that are owned, a lot of them by Romans, believe it or not. Yeah. Tiamo, Romano, yeah, yeah, know, Brunetti's know, Romano, Donini's Romano. There's lots of Roman... Uh, University people. Cafe Romans. So it's coincidental that uh, that uh, Maybe is the Maybe you case. can link it with me or I can have her here as a guest. <laughs> well, Friday. You, you don't oh, I'm happy you, to tap it on Friday if I figure like it counts. Okay, I'll ask her the question. Yeah, Gabriele, yeah, get ready with the thermos of coffee. <laughs> extra work. Hey, don't, mm -hmm. don't, don't turn around and pretend and listen. Yeah. Because I'm extra work to do. So, yeah. so the, and there's more partners to that. Then you've got the magnificent Optus Stadium, which in Australia at the moment, it is the preeminent stadium. It ah, is I can't wait unbelievable. To see it. I can't okay? wait to see it. Uh, and the beautiful thing is you've had clubs like Manchester United, Chelsea, Leeds, play at that stadium. And the Diddy Janty, the, the executives from these clubs, they play each other in Europe. And, uh, oh, Manchester United, you went to Australia. What was that like? Fantastic, beautiful climate, beautiful stadium, beautiful training uh, facilities. So clubs talk 
and Perth and Western Australia and Australia have a good name in the international football community. Um, and then we, we had uh, uh, Ticketmaster Australia that have come in as a major promoter alongside a government and a, alongside uh, Optus Stadium. So we've got three or four, to use an Italian word, Pezzi Grossi behind yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Okay, So the clubs are very comfortable to come to Australia um, and the general public of Western Australia and the rest of Australia have been very, very excited by this. Wow. Actually, I want to say something yes. because, you know, I think it's great that you've done all this stuff over the years. Like, you've had quite a pedigree, Lou. I mean, you formed Carlton, which allowed the likes of Vinnie Grella, Archie Thompson, Mark Bresciano to have successful careers, especially with the Socceroos. You were involved with bringing Del Piero here. And uh, you played a big part in helping Western United get on the feet. Now, you also, with your contribution in getting teams to Italy, I think we need that because we're not getting the same amount of immigration from Italy like we used to. So it's great to have that connection. And not only that, I think it's also good from another perspective for outsiders to see that Australia is more than just Sydney and Melbourne. So I think for Perth... it's a very good point. Yeah. And Perth also has a big community, specifically in Fremantle. So at least the Italo Australians there, they can see some of the old country too. So it's great to have that. Can I, last point? Sure. You would not be surprised how many huge Italian corporations are doing work in Australia at the moment. All the freeway construction that you see around Melbourne and over in other states, there's an Italian company called WeBuild who are... Uh, billion dollars of work going on in Australia at the moment. So, so the Italian connection with Australia has always been strong and will always be strong. Guys, I don't think I have to add anything. Lou is Mr. Promoting Myself, number one. Vito, Mr. Professionalism. Gioamo, the clown of the show. <laughs> Only thing I want to say, you guys, if you really f love watching football doesn't matter the color of the shirt you're gonna back up this event zio am is gonna be there with my son vito's gonna be there wearing his sampdoria scarf lou definitely is gonna be there because it's probably gonna be the referee as well <laughs> as everything <laughs> until next week from zio amo from vito from lou from gabriele from il calcio talk global tv and rate italia because if yes. you're watching the show and you're listening to the show i want to say a big thanks to all the listeners we never thank them enough we have between viewers and listeners so many people reaching out i would like to thank you guys thanks to our sponsor sponsorella cafe elite uh, fitness academy until next week ciao ciao ciao